all right guys welcome back survival living here so today today is uh, april 4th 2023 big day apparently at noon today former president donald trump will be arrested uh fingerprinted photographed and probably released on bail this is a big day in american history and also in my belief fixing to turn the tables on our political system. By arresting a former president, charging him with crimes, this is actually going to open up a whole can of worms on the political structures we have. These congressmen, these presidents, these senators, these people that think they're above the law. So right before we get into the video, a quick word from our sponsor. All right, guys, so today's video is actually sponsored by Magic Spoon. So Magic Spoon had contacted us a little while back about checking out their cereals. And guys, I like having breakfast, but I never have time to actually sit down and make breakfast. I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go to the shipyard. I don't have time. This makes it much easier, especially being high in protein. For you that don't know much about my channel, I work in the shipyard. I work out and we're currently building a home so protein is very key in my daily life so having something that's high in protein this is 13 grams of protein per serving pretty awesome so with this cereal guys uh, this is a high protein keto friendly grain free soy free wheat free naturally flavored this is a childhood flavored cereal that's perfect for grown-ups all right so we have the frosted this has sent me the priority pack we have the cocoa, we've got peanut butter, and we have fruity. So they sent us several of these things to be testing out and stuff. And of course, I made sure I saved my props and did not eat those. But instead, I've been munching on the other ones. And it's actually a very good cereal. I actually do enjoy it. My wife loves it as well. And it's something real quick and easy that we can actually make before we go into work because we do work early hours. So guys, if you are interested in Magic Spoon, of course, if you use our promo code SURVIVAL, you get $5 off your order. Or you can always go to Magic Spoon forward slash survival, and you can get that promo code there as well. And there should be a nice little QR code popped up there for you guys. You can actually scan that and do it directly that way. Now, one of the things I will speak about about Magic Spoon is their happiness guarantee. If you're not happy with your order, no questions asked, they'll refund you. So, definitely check them out. And again, links are in the description for this product. So, to Magic Spoon for the sponsorship in this video, we definitely do appreciate it. And we're really loving the cereal. So, I actually had to take off today from work. Um, wasn't planning on doing a video. I had, to, had some deliveries come in. I had to be here to sign for them. So, with this, by the time you guys are seeing this video, uh, this probably has already happened. This is going to be happening at noon today. Now, guys, this is, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk about it. All right. So he's being charged with hush money. Everybody remembers the big scandal, uh, Stormy Daniels. Okay. He paid money, admitted to paying money during the end of his campaign for her to keep quiet. And she agreed and she didn't agree. Besides the point. Okay. So his lawyer, was it Cohen, said that under the direction of Trump, he was making payments to her, whatever the amount was, to keep her quiet. He admits, Donald Trump admits to paying back Cohen that money as the description of legal fees. Now, that might be a spinoff. He either knows about it, doesn't know about it. I don't know. I wasn't there in that room. So with this, there's also another scandal with another, with a Playboy bunny. Um, so, I mean, it's just nonstop. Here's a pop-up here for you guys. So with this, they're saying uh, to be arraigned on dozens of charges related to hush money payments. First time in American history a former president will be face criminal charges. This is big, guys. Now... Do I believe presidents, congressmen, senators, and women, you know, congresspeople, should be above the law? 
no. No, I don't. I think they should be pushing the bar, the, setting the example for American people. I mean, they're in charge. They should be, you know. But my biggest concern is, is that they're opening up the floodgate that they're not above the law, which, which is good. Don't, don't read me wrong on this. What's going to happen, in my opinion, is going to be a complete teardown of our political structure over this. And what we're going to see is dictatorship step in. It won't be a democracy of voting in and voting out of people. They'll realize there's so much corruption going on, people being accused and investigated, that they're going to wind up doing presidential stuff like uh, communist socialism. Once you're there, you're untouchable, which is going to be horrible for this country. That's my belief and opinion on what's fixing to happen. I could be wrong, but that is my opinion on this. This is a snowball effect into something bigger. And I think we're missing the point on that. I know this half the population stands behind Trump. Half the population, orange man, bad, all right? So it doesn't matter. This is bigger than that, in my opinion. Now, with this, guys, if you are in the vicinity, I believe it's all going down to New York, if I am correct. Lower Manhattan, yes. Uh, my recommendation, don't be there. Just in case there are violent protesting. As a preppers, we need to stay away from situations. We're smart. We know to stay away from these type of situations. This is why we prepare. We stay out of those zones. Keep track of your family today because this can spill over massively into the streets. Do I think it's going to go into the rural areas? No, no. This is going to be another excuse for violent protests. Well, it's not even protests. It's violent civil unrest is what it's going to be. I know people want to chastise me. How dare you say that? I say that about anything when people gather together and start burning down businesses, beating up people that had nothing to do with anything political-wise. It's violent unrest. It has nothing to do with protest. Because if you want to protest something, take it to the people that you're protesting. Not the guy that owns the furniture store down the road, barely able to feed his family. He put all his money into that furniture store to have his own business. And a bunch of jacklegs decided to burn it down because they're protesting. You didn't stop or change anything. All you did was inflict more harm and hardship on that individual. Just so you know, a little common sense there, but I already know the comments going to become rolling in. If you want to protest, take it to the front door of what you need to protest. But I'm going to warn you guys, after January 6th, and I warn everybody, don't, get, don't go up there as a setup. This is what this is going to be too, another setup. Anybody that stands with former President Trump, they are going to view as a domestic terrorist. Now, unfortunately, we already know, ever since Snowden, Edward Snowden came out with his drops, uh, the government watches everything. They watch our keystrokes. They watch our, they listen to our phone calls. They, they watch, they know everything about us. We're constantly being surveilled. So they already know this. So technically, if you really think of it, you can go do whatever you want to because they already know your thoughts and process. They already know what you're reading. They already know what you're watching. Think I'm crazy? There's a lot of proof backing it up and not just conspiracy anymore. Things are going to pop off quick, guys. Please be preparing your family. Get ready for this stuff. Get ready for what is coming. With everything going on with Russia, China, these nuclear missile moves, the food that we're dealing with right now, these um, 
artificial meats, the, the lab-grown meats, they're buying it to farmlands and then not raising anything. It's all control mechanisms, all leading to a larger scheme of things. It's not just one little piece, it's everything. And now you have this, a new distraction. Guys, if you are not prepping, you need to start. If you are just doing a little bit at a time, I recommend prep harder because this stuff is coming fast. Anyway guys, uh, keep your heads on a swivel, watch your family, and we'll see what today brings. Speak to y'all later.